And we're back with some more RimWorld. And Fat Man Slim here is doing pretty good. Our, our, our 63 year old granny has managed to make herself a nice place out on the rim and she's kept her warg named Hope alive. But right now, we've got a quest we've got to take on. There's a, basically this person's going to join us and we're going to get attacked by five enemies. And the thing is that penitent shouldn't be wearing any good clothing so they should pretty much freeze. It's minus 21 degrees outside. So we're going to accept that, but we also need to make a few changes here. Uh, I've been advised, bring all the valuable stuff back inside, otherwise they might nick it. As in, we're going to fight them, try and break them. We've got ourselves a thrombo horn here, which is turning out to be really useful, I think. Um, it's actually really handy we kept the warg, because if we didn't have the warg, we wouldn't have got the thrombo horn. And if we didn't have the thrombo horn and the warg, we wouldn't be able to take this on. And Redfoot has joined us. And Redfoot... What's your melee skill? Your melee skill is 9. That is perfect. And there is nothing stopping you from doing it. Oh my god, you're a pyromaniac. Well, yeah, you're not going to be staying with us. Uh, unfortunately, your time with us will be rather short. We're going to want you to stand right there. Okay. Uh, also, as well as that, we need to create a stockpile to bring those inside. Uh, where do I want to put you, though? See, there? Yeah, butcher table stockpile. We also want to bring in the electric smelter. Ooh, since we've got two people, we now get a chance to name our settlement. And we also get to name our uh, our faction. Mm. Our faction name will be Hope Lives, and our settlement's going to be called Just Because It's Made of Silver Does Not Mean We Are Rich, It Just Means We Were Desperate to Make Walls. Because people keep attacking us, and it was pointed out to me, well, oh, damn it, why isn't that name valid? Come on, seriously? Is it the exclamation marks? Do you not like the exclamation mark? There, it was the exclamation marks. Okay. Our community is now known as Just Because It's Made of Silver, and our faction is now known as Hope Lives. All right. Uh, yeah, you keep carting that stuff inside. The enemies haven't shown up yet, but they can't be far behind. I'm going to leave the meat outside, uh, namely because, well, I don't really care that much. The, the eggs are worth far, far more. Here comes the people chasing. Uh, Redfoot, is there something wrong with you? Why are you moving so slow? 4.09, 4.6, 4.9. Ooh, they're going to run you down. They're going to run you down hard. And wait a minute. Where's the guy who's supposed to be pretty much naked? Uh, we got two spearmen, two bowmen. You're the one who's... You're the penitent. Ah, oh, damn it. Never mind. They came with good enough gear. That's going to be a problem. What's your cold resistance? Your cold resistance is comfortable to minus 14. Well, it's minus 22. Yeah, we're... 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 we're, we're, we're <laughs> We're going to have to kill at least three of them, probably four before they break. Uh, that's going to hurt. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Redfoot, run. Just, like, really, run. Okay, you're almost done. Grab that. Okay, Redfoot, move it, move it, move it. Oh! One second! They're pulling back! Okay, they're actually going to pause before they attack. That is good for us. That means we have time to bring everything back inside. Um, in fact, while we're at it, we might get some training in. We can actually train our warg up, and I think that is a good idea. Perfect. Now, I want you to prioritize training hope once this is done. Go for it. This will also feed them at the same time, so double duty. Now, uh, Redfoot, immediately equip that thrombo horn if you wouldn't mind. So, when it comes to this, normally when you're training them, you have to feed them something. I think it actually increases their... Should increase the amount. Yeah, it does increase the nutrition. Okay, perfect. And was it actually successful? Nope. Not even this little bit. Come on. There we go. Guard has been trained up a little bit. Okay, you. Get down here. Uh, what are we going to do? Hmm. I think we close this door. Uh, yeah, let this place get warm again. And Redfoot. I don't think you need that cloth parka. That's just a waste of time. <laughs> With that parka now added to our uh, clothing, we're minimal comfort, minimal comfortable temperature, minus 29.2 C. Excellent. We are covered. Redfoot, on the other hand, well, I don't think Redfoot's going to be around for much longer anyway. Uh, I think there is one thing that we have to do. I want some cover for the doorway. So, yeah, maybe uh, move that to there. Perfect. And... Uh, why yeah, doesn't everyone just take a nap? We can uh, wait until they decide to actually attack us. Yeah, Redfoot's just going to watch over you holding that thrombo horn. Sweet dreams. Well, that didn't last very long. They're starting their assault. Redfoot, open the door. Immediately. Uh, we want to lock that open. Okay. Slim, get out there. We're going to want you at the door. 
Oh, here they come. Oh, and we need a new uh, animal zone. We're going to zone the warg right in that area. We're not even going to use the guard function. All right, I think we have everything we can possibly do done. All we got to do now is wait until they come in range and for combat to start up in earnest. Ooh. Ooh. Come on. Okay. I think. Yeah, there we go. Open fire. Okay, that's a hit. Alpable hit. Bleeding it in 13 hours. That is good. You, what are you at? Ooh, your range is too good. Pull back. I don't want you getting shot at. Ooh. Let's hope the silver walls hold up. I would really not like to lose those. Oh, ho, ho, nice shot. Wow. Okay, right leg. Uh, they're not going to bleed out, but I don't think they're getting away if we play our cards right. Come on. Okay, and not everything can be perfect. Did you hit anyone? No. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, animals. Org, area two, now. Uh, training, we're going to put you on follow master while drafted. Will you attack? Yep, it is actually attacking. Perfect. Their health is good enough, and you. Stop shooting at the person that's the farthest away. Your chances are the slimmest. I want you to shoot at that one. Go for it. Oh, two down. Now, grab that one. Oh, my sweet Jesus. Okay. Um, Redfoot, how are you doing? You're actually doing really good. That one's injured. That one is not, but the two of them are in the open. I think... I think we fall back, hide behind the walls, let them in, get in closer, and then go out after them. Uh, we'll have to zone the animals and do some changes here. One second. All right, everyone's waypoints are set. Everyone should start moving. Come on. There you go. All right, uh, they should start coming in closer. So you tend to hope. You wouldn't mind? Nope, they can still see us. Okay, that's awkward. Hmm... Uh... One second, we'll move everyone again. We are going to move that slim up there. Where are you going? Oh, this is my bad. Follow master while drafted. Okay, I'm being an idiot. That's fine. Did you hit? Oh my god, you got hit in the right lung? One hit! Okay, this ranged fighting stuff is not going to go well for us. Uh, that one's not in immediate danger. That one's not in immediate danger. We need to pull back to this location. In fact, you're going to grab some medicine along the way. Uh, hold on a second. We want to assign them to pick up a bunch of this stuff. In fact, I want you to carry around three of that stuff. Okay, there you go. Uh, move here. No. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Okay, perfect. Now, tend to yourself. Y you sure you don't want to tend to yourself? That would be really nice if you could do that. Or I should put on self-tend. How did that even get turned off? Okay, here they come. And here goes our animals. We're going to have Redfoot and the animal run them down. I think we only have to hurt one of them. There we go. Perfection. Come on. Hit him again. Uh, where are you going? You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going to put a zone right on top of there. Clear area two. Come on, war. Go get him. See? Ooh, for a second there, I thought they were going to light fire to my wind turbine. You are moving at 3.17. You are moving at 2.94. Uh, you are using a 2.91. Okay, so that one's going to get away. That's unfortunate. Damn it. Really wish we could have gotten them. The Hope might be able to run them down. That might be worth a try, actually. Actually, no. No, I don't want to risk hope for it. I mean, literally all we could get out of this looking at them is like a cloth parka. That's all they've got. We don't really care about the rest of it. Uh, let's start stripping those who are left alive. Uh, that would be Crocodile. The penitent we thought was going to be coming along with no clothing. Well, they've got a toque, tribal wear, and a jacket that they're all donating to the cause. 
For the aftermath, we have a plan. The first thing we're going to do is get Redfoot to install a butcher's table. They've got a few bruises and stuff, but they're not actually bleeding out in any way. And in the moment that is down... Actually, Batman, how you doing? Oof, your mood's pretty low. Serious pain. That would do it to you, considering you took one right through the lung. That was very unfortunate. Ouch! 13.7 stab damage. Really should not have risked that. I need to be more careful in future. I keep forgetting we don't have any flak jackets, nothing to pr no protection, nothing like that. This is not the best time to be risking stuff. Uh, once you're done with that, we are going to get you to consume a meal as well. Uh, see, wait. Redfoot here has some stuff they want to do. Namely, Redfoot's going to butcher up the people. Um, we can turn them into food for hope. And I want Redfoot to do it because they'll get the massive mood penalty. And then we won't need them anymore. I know, I know, I know, but like if we get, uh, I was going to get Fat Man Slim to do it, because uh, I just assumed Red was going to die during this, and Fat Man could have done it, the problem was we would have had to wait six days for the mood penalty to wear off before we do it a second time, and then a third time, etc, etc. But this way we can do all three, four of them? We can do all four of them now, and then Redfoot can just sort of disappear. This is definitely not going to help our mood though, it'll be uh, I think a minus 12 for Redfoot and a minus 6 for Fat Man. Uh, how's Fat Man looking? Oof. Yeah, this is not going to help. That uh, that pessimist trait is not the best thing in the world. Yeah, but they are better. Now what I would like you to do is... Yeah, pr prioritize tending to hope if you wouldn't mind. Perfect. Redfoot's going to take a while to do that. I think we're definitely going to have to do a big sweep. This place is possibly quite disgusting right now. Awful. Yeah, this needs to be swept up before anyone even thinks about grabbing a snack. Uh, you need to... Where'd all the clothes go? Oh! I have a mod installed from the last game where if you butcher someone, all their clothes vanishes. It just dispose... Yeah, I'm not bothering reloading. I'll reload it in between this, ga this game and the next, or this episode and the next. But, uh, yeah, that means we're not going to have any bunch of tainted clothing lying around, which I'm kind of okay with. Otherwise, we just would have moved it down to some ice or some water somewhere and just let it decay. But, uh... I, I could live with a little bit of a minor issues. Ooh, excellent. We almost have enough human skin. Uh-oh. Red foot's gone a bit nuts. Uh, they're going to start smashing stuff. What are you actually going to smash, though? Uh, okay. We'll smash up random furniture items and structures. Well, in that case, we're going to have to start repairing things. I wish we hadn't have given them a thrombo horn before they did this. Stop that. Old. No. No. Ooh. Don't smash up anything important. I, I don't want to have to kill you until you've butchered the last two bodies. There's two more bodies to go. Just butcher those and then you can do whatever you want. <gasps> did, did you just destroy all the eggs? Well, that definitely puts a damper on things. Um, God damn it, there was like 25 meals in there. That was another 12 and a half days of food that you destroyed. Oh. Damn it, damn it. Nope, nope, it's fine. We still have trombo meat. We, we still got, mm, oh, no, I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> damn it, Randy. Gotta admit, your sense of humor is pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Well, uh, we'll, we'll pause that one. We... <laughs> not gonna be butchering any humans for a while. Namely because Fat Man's not in the best of moods. She's, uh... Yeah. Observe, of course, pessimist. You know what? Let's, uh, let's haul these corpses out of the way. But we're gonna get all of them and move them far enough away that it shouldn't cause us any negative mood effects. You can go all the way over there. Yeah, prioritize hauling. You're going to be unhappy for a bit, but that's... Yeah, oh, please don't have any mental breaks, though. That would be really unfortunate if you had them just now. God, we're so close. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, perfect. Now we need to get you into bed and get your mood way up. First up, recreation. Yes, if you want to get your recreation mood maxed out, uh, right now you've got nothing going on, but once that recreation meter 
Goes up to about 70. Excellent. That gives you recreation status at five. Keep going one more level. Right, that takes us up to recreation fully satisfied at 10. All right, much safer. That means only a minor mental break. Great. Then we're going to bring you back here and get you to do some work, preferably something you enjoy. They actually enjoy construction, so repairing the walls will actually bring us up just high enough. That, that works. Perfect. Okay, then, oh, we do want to scrap those, uh, those spears when we get a chance before they start to decay out there. Eclipse. Darkness. Oh. Inconvenience, that's going to give us a negative, but we can work around this. And at the perfect time, there's an animal migration of horses. Yes, yes, we'll take it. I don't, I don't care. Oh, damn it, our mood is low, though. And it's dark, so we're, we've got a darkness modifier. That's going to affect our movement speed to 2.9, whereas the horses are going to be completely unaffected. Oh, and they're also pack animals, so if we annoy one, they might actually swarm us. Oh, I don't think we can risk it. That's, like, horses are dead. Five horses? If even three of them come after us, or even two, we're in an awful lot of trouble. So while I would love to start to pick a fight with those horses, I think it's too dangerous. Even with the warg to help us out, they would run us down and slaughter us. On the other hand, they do appear to be coming incredibly close to our house. I mean, we could take some pot shots at them, and then close the door behind us. Might work. Uh, I think... I think I'm not going to consume a simple meal right now. I don't want them getting hungry. That would be bad. Uh, yeah, what's the mood at? Drowsy, pessimist. Okay. I think we just let him sleep. I don't want them trapped at the door repairing it when they're incredibly tired. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let the horses go. There'll be other opportunities, hopefully. Randy decided he wanted to help out, so... Psychic dra drone low. Female. That's, uh... Yeah, Fat Man, despite being called Fat Man Slim, is actually a woman, so... God damn it, Randy. <laughs> this is just perfect timing. Now, when will the corpse thing wear off? Two hours. Actually, that's... that's good. That's 4.5. Uh, inside the environment? This place is kind of unsightly. I wish I didn't have to look at it. Oh yeah, we have too much stuff inside. We need to get a lot of the stuff outside so that we can drive this back up again. Now, that's one of the reasons we made this bed out of silver. It's actually got a decent beauty level to it, so it, it's helping keep our mood just up a bit. We need to remove... Oh, that, where did that jade come from? That must be one of the tribals just dropped a lump of jade in our room. Yep, that goes outside. We're going to remove all the scraps out of here. That should definitely help a wee bit, but... Oh yeah, no, we are we are in so much trouble right now. We can't keep our mood any higher. There is the yayo, but that could lead to addiction, and addiction is death. Yeah, I think it's a 2-4% to 4 chance every time you... Hit Yeo, know, even if it's just the first time, so no. I, I, I'm not r willing to risk the playthrough on that. Um, yeah, I think we just leave it. We're going to... Yeah, take the stuff out of here. That's our first plan. Get all this junk out of here and drive up the, the level of beauty in this area. One of the things we really wanted from that, though, was the steel they brought with them. So we're going to smelt down both of these... Ikawa? Ik Ikawa? Whatever, the spears. We're going to melt down the spears and... Oh, a granite club! Come on! Fine. That was uh, well played. A granite club we can't do anything with. Now, how much steel did that give us? Twelve. Okay, with both of those smelted, we might actually be able to afford a battery. That will make life our life an awful lot simpler. I was thinking I was going to smelt this down, but now that I think about it, it might be a better idea to keep it to sell. It'll probably deteriorate outdoors, but I can't keep it inside without making the place filthy. So yeah, we'll leave these weapons outside. And if we can sell them, great. If we can't, well, I'm not going to cry over it. A few quick meals to keep us going. Yeah, I think that is enough. Excellent. I think we might get you to tuck into a meal right now. At least until the psychic drone has ended. There we go. Perfect. Ooh, okay. I think we've passed through the worst of it. Their mood is still a little bit low, but... Most of the minor pain one is now down to... We've only on minus 5 for the pain as opposed to the 10. And once that... Oh, actually, you should be fine if you stand over here. No, no, stand right there for a second. Does that get rid of the darkness? Yes, it does. Uh, not for long, though. Hey, okay, do what you gotta do. 
What the? Wanderer joins? Oh, the eclipse is ending. That's good. Psychic drone is still on. Wanderer joins. A human computer named Sleeper has arrived and wants to join the colony. Huh. You can choose to turn him down and send him away. However, a colonist will be disturbed at sending someone in need away. We do have a bunch of cooking that needs doing. So, oh, and that is a magnificent... I've never seen a green beard before. That is actually anyone on me. I set up uh, all the colonists to get to be more inclined to have tattoos, weird haircuts, and facial hair. So, yes. Cloth parka. Mmm, delicious. Oh, that cloth took Definitely. And a couple of fine meals. Oh, what's your butchering skill? Please tell me you can do... Iron willed? Okay. Ooh. Hmm. No, no, no. No. No, we're not keeping anyone. We don't need you. We... I think we may have a way of getting rid of them, but first off, they're gonna... Well, they're gonna do some butchering for us. Sleeper's job here is quite simple. Actually, one thing we're gonna get you to do before you do that is we're gonna get you to drop that steel knife. And we're also gonna get you to drop those fine meals. No point you wasting those. And that knife can immediately get recycled. That knife was worth another eight steel. This is going our way. Time to build that battery, I think. Ooh, I thought that only stacked up to one, but it seems it's gone up to seven. But yeah, it's going to be our last chance we get to butcher these. What's it going to go up to now? Eight. Okay, probably one more, I'm betting. Uh, it's okay, we're getting lots of human letter out of this. Also, there's a bunch of fine meals over there. I'm sure we can use those to tide us over. Once the psychic drone goes away, Fat Man will be fine. Oh. Of course, once all of those are butchered, that leaves us with the, uh, the problem. How do we get rid of this person without causing a massive mood penalty to Fat Man Slim? Well, I'm glad you asked. The first thing we're going to get them to do is, well, put their dukes up, uh, get inside of actually... Hmm, Clot Took. I want your Clot Took. Namely because it's perfect, so you drop that. Everything else I don't really care about, to be honest. Now, force melee attack hope. Just a little bit. Okay, you just punched hope. That's that's it. That's it, buddy. You're you're out of there. Uh try to arrest. One second. Four prisoners. Yes, yes, yes. Whatever. That's grand. Uh try to arrest. 100 percent Boom! Excellent. Uh now, ten sleeper strip assign, prioritize ten in clean room. One second. How do I execute them? You see, right now, they're considered guilty because they attacked someone in the colony. True, we told them to do it, but, you know, rules are the rules. So since they're guilty, so long as we execute them, we should be fine on the mood penalty front. Just gotta figure out how to do that. We quickly throw down a ritual spot, which seems to be what we need. Uh, I don't think there's any other way to get rid of them. Okay, in that case, we will begin a public execution. Uh, prisoner is ready. We don't have any spectators. Expected duration. Expected quality, 18%. Oof. Why? Well, uh, some of the selected participants are sleeping. Well, oh, it's okay. I don't care if it's a little bit negative. Well. Now, uh, one second. Where's the actual social? Spoke about the mercy of a correct killing. Okay. That's, uh... A thing. Colonists left unburied. Don't worry, we'll take care of that. Satisfying? I'm pretty sure our odds were absolutely horrific. Everyone participating in the ritual gains a plus six mood for six days. Thank you, Randy. Oh, okay. Does not make up for the eggs. I am still annoyed about the eggs, but that was actually pretty handy. That will keep Fat Man happy for at least a little bit. Uh, I think... Uh, ooh. I just realized we should probably bury them or something. Otherwise, we butchered human like Lossachic Jones. <laughs> Unsightly environment, darkness, witnessed allies' death. Well, yeah. Minor pain, body mother frustrated, uh, disturbed sleep. My rival sleeper died? Perfect. Initial hope. Actually, that's, that's gonna, it was kind of useful. Satisfying execution. Six days, extremely comfortable. This, yeah. Executed guilty prisoner, plus 10 for six days. Ah. <sighs> Beautiful. Now, uh, yeah, get the corpse out of here first. Dear lord, these things are messy. Look at the blood everywhere. I mean, you know, we have to do an execution, but at least don't make it this absolutely messy. Where are you going? Cloud watching? No, 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 no. I, I take it back about all the blood everywhere. It turns out that's just 
a graphical thing for the execution. I mean, the room is not affected by it, as far as I can tell. We go in here, we're just getting minus three on every tile because it's snow, but there's no actual blood there. Weird. Hey, well, you learn something new every day. Okay, Randy. Now you're just... <sighs> Fine, I forgive you for the eggs. We've now got a bunch of sheep. That's, um... Oh, wait. You need to fence those in, don't you? Oh, damn it. How do we fence them in? Hmm. Looks like we're trying something I was going to do earlier, but never got around to doing. We're going to need to have a structure, and we're going to do an animal flap out of human leather, because it takes 25 to materials to make it. And, well, we couldn't use... Well, the only materials we had that were available were light leather, which we only had 22. Uh, Wolfskin, we only had 24. Thrombofur was 73. I was not using Thrombofur to make a, an animal flap. Instead, we're, we're, we're going to use human leather, because... And... Yeah... I know, I know, I know, it's not the most perfect thing, but this should allow us to at least store the sheep. But no, don't go back to bed. Finish that off. Okay, now I think we need something for a field in here. Where is it? I just realized I could just use a caravan hitching post. Alright, you need to go over there and wrangle them all up. We need to get all of them roped before they decide to leave the map area. Ooh, another quest! We haven't been raided yet, I just realized. There hasn't been a single raid so far. Okay. Now this seems handy. Someone just shows up. We can basically take all their stuff and then, you know, let them die in the cold. Sure, buddy. A uh, refugee has arrived. What kind of gear you got? Um, poor... Oh, locked. Locked. That one is probably... Yeah, also locked. Grant, uh, you can keep all that stuff. You do have a steel. Ah, excellent. Now that you can drop. Excellent. Okay, where are we going to send you? Hmm. I'm thinking over here is fine. Uh, what's your cold resistance? Your cold resistance is minus 33.9. Well, okay by me. I have been advised the way this works, you, people like this can't, won't take off their inventory unless it's below a certain quality level, as in 51%. If it's giving them a negative moodlet, you're allowed to remove it. Welding steel? Oh, I am wielding steel. Such a detestable weapon, caused by a belief. Oh, okay. Well, you can take off your pants. And you can take off your flop hat. Uh, that leaves you to muffle wool down shirt and a cloth parka. That's fine. Uh, well... Yeah, th those can rot over there. We're going to get you to drop your steel club over here. That's going to give us some steel to work with. Which is quite nice. Uh, you can drop that off right there. Excellent. Uh, now go back to standing in the water. At some point, you will stop being a problem. Plus, if any more corpses show up, you can butcher them. I was just thinking, so long as we've got this person here, we might as well get some value out of them. And by value, I mean target practice. So, let's see. Right about... I want them right on the edge of our maximum range. There we go. What's our skills at? Uh, 2,503. Yeah, you don't really get much experience for shooting at people who you're allied with, it seems. I suppose if it had a mental break, it'd be different, but... Uh, anything else? Nope. Well, that worked out perfectly. Um, You know what? Might as well hold them over. Hold them over to uh, Hope's feeding area. Hope's actually should be completely healed. What are you still doing in bed? Get up and like start running around the place. You should be a happy, healthy morgue. All right, Randy. Randy, I've forgiven you for the eggs. A bulk goods trader? You, you're just being too kind now. That's, uh, you've got to have steel. You've got to have, yes, you have steel. Oh, this changes everything. Like the odds of getting that, like you... Okay, okay, we need to be able to sell them everything we can. Oh, man, we really should have taken his organs first. No, that would have been too big of a mood hit. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, we do have lots of stuff we can sell, though. Hydroponics would just be so valuable at this point. I, I need to think really, really hard about this. Uh, also, look at this. Our mood is absolutely amazing right now. Initial hope is still here, which is giving us the plus five, but basically, yeah, we've actually managed to get things in line. Nicely done. Now, before we trade with them, I would like to point out we actually have 106 steel. We have enough steel now 
to put ourselves together a battery. We managed to scrounge that from all of the weapons of the people who have passed by. Also the scraps that, scrap chunks that fell out of space. But I think our plan was going quite well. This is kind of like just really nice that this has shown up, but at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed. I kind of wanted to see how far we could get without having to, uh, you know, buy steel off people if we could just scrounge our way there. But I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth and see what we can sell and how much steel we can get off them. After thinking about this for way, way, way too long, we're going to sell off all our light leather, those drugs we picked up, any clothing, random stuff, even the gold and a bunch of human leather. That's going to get us all the steel. All of it. 383 steel. Nothing else. That's the only thing we're buying from them. That steel is going to be absolutely brilliant for us. Well, once we get hydroponics, we still haven't finished researching hydroponics because it's too early. Um, one thing I did look at here is they were, they're offering to sell us a silver bed for 793. So I thought maybe we could sell our silver bed for that. No, they're offering 221 silver for a good silver bed. The markups around here are just horrifyingly bad. All right. Uh, what's our actual social? Our social is 11? And that's as good as... Mm, fine. Hey, you, uh, reinstall that bed if you wouldn't mind. Uh, actually, we can get rid of that. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, we can get rid of the meditation spot. While Slim is catching a nap, let's just admire that. It's 489 steel. We, we actually have a chance now. This is good. This is really good. We just need to get our research done. That's the problem. Uh, if we check under research here... We still don't have hydroponics. Uh... We're only on day 15, and it just feels like so much has happened in the last while, yet we're still only 15 days into this. I'm thinking our first step now is to stick in a battery. Uh, right about there. And I think I made a miscalculation at the start, didn't I? Mm. You know what, we'll worry about that in a minute. This will at least stabilize our power so it won't keep going flickering on and off all the time. You see, the mistake I made was to do with where I placed the wind turbine at the very start of the game. I meant to place it one tile further back. Now, I could redo the entire inside of our base, shuffle this around, move it, put a tile in there. No, I am going to move this using the... I'm going to get a mod to do that. One moment. I install the Minify Everything mod. I, it, I'm going to uninstall it right afterwards. It's just I want to move this down one tile. Otherwise, it's going to make everything look really janky, and I just want to avoid that. Uh, does that work there? Yeah, it was there, so I just want to move it down one tile. One tile. Come on, put it right there, and then I can uninstall this thing again. Oh, at the same time, I got rid of that thing that... Uh, the clothes disappearing from corpses when we uh, chop them up. So now, yeah, so now the battery is hooked up to this. The Minify Everything mod is pretty ridiculous, though. You can minify walls, which I think is, is far too powerful. I just wanted to move the wind turbine one tile. I know that's going to annoy some people, but I just couldn't live with it being there. Otherwise, we would have had to do just horrible things. All right, uh, next up, research hydroponics. We, we should be done already. It's like day 16. Hurry up. The reason we wanted to move that down there and not use a wire, we could have just put in a power wire right about there, is because if you don't have any power wires, you can't get zist events. Yep, if you've no power wires, no zist events. So if we use batteries and wind turbines to get our power about the place, we don't have to worry about that stuff, which makes life a lot easier. And oh my god, I just forgot something. Uh, build a roof. Yep, build a roof over the battery. If we don't put a roof over the battery, we will get zist events. Go for it. Oh, and we've got this as our fridge. The thrombo meat can stay in there. It's frozen and it won't spoil. That means we just, uh, it'll keep us in meals for that a little bit longer. Also, we've got those two fine meals over there, which I'm looking forward to. So we are starting to run out of food. Yep, those eggs really, really hurt. Just, it's fine. It's fine. This time here where the wind turbine is maxed out, this is when we're getting the most gains. And what did you do? For a second there, I thought they ate something. Nope, nope, it's fine. I think they were just mopping something up. Uh, why don't you go grab a snack? We could stretch this out a bit more. I've been advised that we can let them go down into... Once they get down into this section, it actually slows down their food, but... Oh. How is that? How bad is that going to affect their mood? Uh, pretty nasty. Let's see how, how much we could push it. I think that's about enough. They're definitely pushing the borderline of happiness. Yeah, maybe just consume that now. Ah, perfect. And I think we should probably cook up the last of that meat. Yeah. Five more meals. Transport pod crash. It just seems like Randy wants us to have an extra colonist, uh, but we don't seem to care. Light leather parka, cloth pants, cloth button down shirt. Yep, thank you for the gear. Uh, let's just check your bio on it. Very neurotic, fast learner kind. Uh, what's your health conditions? Eating at eight hours. Mm. We could use you to, nope, 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 nope. 
I was saying we could think, I was thinking about maybe using them to uh, butcher some corpses, but probably not a good idea. Carry them. Yep. We'll carry them a little bit closer to home, just so we don't have to carry all the clothes back manually. I was about to strip them when it warned me that if I try and strip them, it will anger the teen coalition. Uh, and I kind of like trade caravans, they're the only thing that are going to really help us out here. So I think we actually rescue them. Um. Yeah, and then we'll pretend to them without medicine. Doctor care, no medicine. And if they join us, well, no, let's just execute them. You know, there's, there's ways to do that. So let's just tend them anyway. It helps out our medical skill, which is currently at three. Oh yeah, our medical does suck quite a bit. But I mean, we can get better. Eh, if they join us, great. If they don't, if they join us, well, that's an annoyance we can dispose of. And oh God, yeah, I forgot. We got to repair these things. So we're going to run out of components as well. That's another thing we have to remember. Everything that breaks down has to be repaired with components, and we've only got 20 left. Hmm. You know, it's another bottleneck we're going to have to look forward to. It, this guy's a little bit unhappy, namely because we're not feeding him in anything, but, you know, eh, he'll probably be fine. We'll just, uh, drop Melton, and then we will rescue you again and put you in this bed. We're putting him here as far away because I'm worried that he's going to have a mental break. And when he has a mental break, I want to make sure his mental break is far away from us so we have plenty of time to prepare for whatever it takes to stop his mental break. You're cloud watching. Yep, you know what? Go for it. Keep your recreation nice and high. We still haven't managed to get an inspiration yet, though. Oh, would you look at that? It's visitors, a group from the Teen Coalition. I like the idea that they're called the Teen Coalition. Uh, are you all teens or, like, some of you older than teens? Or do you have to, like, be a certain age to get in? Uh, 31? Yeah, you're 35? Yeah, you guys are all out of your teens. 22? Like, that's the closest you've got? Uh, eh, what have you got on you? Three simple meals. Ooh, packaged survival meals. Assault rifle. Actually, no, we don't need that. Tech prints. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, we'll, we'll have a chat. Oh, that's new. Outlanders from the Teen Coalition are taking a wounded guest. That's, yeah, well, he's on your side. I was going to make fun of you for leaving him behind, but... I didn't know they'd fix that in the game. That's... Brilliant. They came, they saw, they removed their person, and... Oh, we never got to trade with them. What's your movement speed? 4.6. Yeah, we're, we're... Yeah. Never mind. You get away. Uh, does that give us any bonus with that side? Nope. It looks like we're just neutral with them. Oh, well. Never mind. Relations with Teen Coalition have changed from 1 to 17. Member exited map healthy. Well, I'd say they were healthy, they were starving and all that, but that worked out. That worked out well. I had no idea they'd actually programmed that in. Well, the sheep are starting to die of extreme malnutrition. That's fine, actually. We're almost out of meals. How are you doing? Oh, God. Uh, sorry about that. Consume a simple meal immediately. Oops. Well, we got to 0%. Let's see, so that worked. A little bit of malnutrition. Yeah, that's going to make their... That's going to make their hunger rate go up until they get over that. That was uh, my mistake. Hey, would you look at that? Ship to the stars has now become active. It is all the way down there, near Choking Hadido. Okay. And we are... Yeah, that's exactly the opposite side of the planet. What's our closest neighbors? Is it... Oh, yeah, Violent Tribes. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we'll be making friends with any of those anytime soon. What the hell, Randy? Oh my god, you're just... You're taking away, like, some of the challenge from this. I mean, the eggs thing was brilliant, but then it's just like, oh, we're going to give you two bulk goods traders in a row. Oh, come on. We can't even afford, half, like, any of this stuff. We spent everything on the steel the last time around because we thought that was, like, everything we were ever going to get ever. Hmm. Well, we don't really have much left to sell. I suppose we could butcher up the rams, but I need those for food. Yeah, these rams are basically, like, solid storage of meat. Oh, for the love of God! <laughs> Yay, we've got more steel. <laughs> what is going on? Uh, okay, stutter. Yeah, this is all on, on normal. Like, what's going on? We haven't even got it attacked. It's been how many days? It's been 20 days and we haven't even got a raid yet. What is going on? I don't understand. Something is not right. Uh, let's see what they've got anyway. I would love to buy their steel. They've got 254 steel, but we already have 419 steel. And yeah, there's there's nothing here we really want. We could sell that fourth thrombo meat. It's just taking up space in the freezer, but no, no. It's unfortunate, but 
much as I would love to take advantage of this, we can't really. All of our money has already been expended. And where are you and what are you doing? You're resting? Okay, perfect. All right, let's skip this forward, though, until the research is done. We are so close to getting out hydroponics, and at that point, the game will just twist. Oh, wow, it's gotten so cold outside, we're getting to minus one indoors. We're going to need a second heater. Yeah, I think that's first thing in the morning. It's time to put down another one of those. That should keep us in the, well, the green? I don't know, whatever you want to call it. With two heaters in place. Okay, the temperature is definitely fluctuating wildly, but we're actually looking pretty good. And it's, yeah, it's fully roofed in. We do have a lot of wall segments, I suppose, so we're going to have to work on that. But it's okay. It's okay. We just need to get hydroponics, and we're fine. And some yaks joined us. What is going on? Randy, you've gone soft. Okay, that's... <sighs> fine. Uh, they are not zonable? Nope, they are not zonable. In that case, I'm going to have you wrangle them up there. Prioritize roping that yak, and prioritize you roping the second yak. We'll come down for the steel later. We just literally don't need it. I feel like Randy is just... He's overly compensating now. Well, we've got sheep. Well, it's going to be eating lamb for the next few days. Uh, though, I might want to eat those fine meals. They're starting to degrade. I could put them in this little freezer here for emergencies, though. So that might be an idea. Actually, I think I will. Hmm. Yeah, we'll stick those in the freezer and then we'll use the drumbo meat and the sheep meat to make some more meals. The Teen Coalition left us some gifts, namely a recurve bow and a sandstone club. I would have preferred a steel club, but you know, we'll, we'll take what we can get. Funny thing to note, turns out yaks here, they will totally eat fine meals. Yep, yep, it's just one of those things you should note. It's really lucky we x that out before they ate any. It's finally happened, a raid shown up. Okay, kinship of bar... bar whatever, who cares. It's... Gow... Gowbo... Whatever, I, I can't pronounce your name. All I know is you're trying to kill us. You have no health conditions. You can move at 4.6. You're chilly, depressive. Uh, what's your temperature resistance? Minus 34. Well, that's not really going to be a problem then for you. Cloth park at Cloth Tribal where you've got 15 silver and a short bow. 15 silver? You want to donate 15 silver? That is great. Oh, I just realized those yaks are going to act as a distraction. Hmm. You know what? I'm okay with that. Uh, are they going to attack immediately? Stage, then attack. Okay, you stage up, buddy. We'll, we'll stay here researching and all studious-like. Oh, wow! I just realized you can milk the yaks. And by realized, I mean that uh, Fats Man Slim did it all by themselves. She, she went over and milked them, and we've got 11 milk. That's an entire meal. Oh, and yes, I, I am aware you can make an entire meal out of milk by making yogurt or cheese. I think I said once in a tutorial that I don't know how they make a meal out of uh, milk. And it's like, oh, no, there's cheese, there's yogurt, there's all sorts of things. It's like, yeah, but it's a grill. Please explain to me how you grill up some cheese out of milk, or, or turn milk into cheese on a grill. Ugh, that's rimworld, I suppose. Maybe it is possible. But seriously, I did that tutorial ages ago, and I still get comments about turning milk into cheese. It's... Mm, all the time. The assault has started. Excellent. Ready up. You. Uh, follow master while drafted. Perfect. Get over to here. I think that's a good place. We might have to come down there, but I really don't want to give them a good angle on us. Their bow should be pretty short-ranged. Yeah, we should be able to outrange them, and my plan would be to, well, attack animals. <laughs> uh, while, while this is on, mastered animals are sent for to attack distant targets. While it's off, they remain near and guard the master. Right. Come on closer, buddy. Come on a little closer. Uh, if they attack the... Whatchamacallit? If they attack the yaks, I'm kind of okay with that. Ooh, one hit already. That gets you... Uh, not enough. It's, not, it's barely slowing you down. Ooh, that actually took our shooting up. I don't think we can risk getting into the shooting match for very long, so... Animal attacks. This, unfortunately, will put them in the line of fire. And we may accidentally shoot them ourselves, which is bad. Ow! Right leg. Cut. Okay. Come on. Okay, okay. Excellent. I want to get in close so we don't accidentally shoot our own warg. That would be bad. I could get in closer a lot faster if they hadn't have shot me in the leg with an arrow. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That was way tough. I feel like that was way tougher than it should have been. Hey, you, uh, immediately tend yourself. And you can go back to... Sleep. We'll take that off. You can go back and go into bed. We'll, uh, we'll be over to patch you up shortly. Only a few bruises and things. 
Whew. Eh, short bow. Yeah, we'll leave, I think we'll leave all of this stuff here. Actually, no. We'll carry the corpse over first. We'll put it in the storage area for Hope to feed on later. By placing that heater here, we've given ourselves some light when we're tending Hope. That actually, that was actually an unintended side effect, but that actually helps out quite a bit. Major break risk. Why are you on a major break risk? What's wrong with you? Um, consume fine meal immediately. There you go. Uh, milk won't spoil, it's fine. Now, let's see what that does to your mood. Oh, it's really unfortunate we don't have a second one of those for later. Great, you're going to get your recreation up, then... Yeah, then we'll work on your rest and stuff. Okay, how is it every time you get into a fight, you always take a few hits more than you should? You had quite good cover behind there. That should have been 50% cover effectiveness. I suppose your accuracy is kind of terrible. You should be killing things faster, but free shooting? Ugh. I think I figured out why that fight gave us so much trouble. Look at them, they've got a shooting of six, melee of six, and they're tough. That tough is what made it so hard. You need to take half damage. Hmm. I'll have to watch out for that next time around. There we are, another raid. Randy! Finally! I was beginning to think you'd, you'd sort of just lost this, but oh god, they've got a bolt action. Well, psychically deaf, a masochist, and kind. Shooting of two, melee of three. Okay, okay. Uh, what did that say about how long you were going to take to actually attack us? You are going to stage, then attack. Okay, if you're going to stage an attack, let's check out what your cold is. Minus 52. Never mind, you're not going to be bothered by the cold at all. Yep. Ooh, neutronamine. We could sell that for a pretty penny. So, we hang back. Pretty much do the same, but on the opposite side. Uh, our warg... Yeah, our warg's a little bit sore right now, but they should be ready to go by the time you, they make their move. How are you doing, fat man? Oh. Yeah, eight with a table. Body mod or frustrated? I would really like to get them that, but we need a doctor to do that. Pessimist. Nothing we can do about that. And minor pain. Well, that will hopefully go away in a bit. Yeah, we're healing up rather quickly. Here they come again. Perfect. What day is it? Day 23. So, I mean, it's only our second raid. Randy's being nice, if you ask me. Anyway, follow Master while drafted. Let's get up there. That should give us decent cover. Actually, their bolt action is going to outrange us. Oh, yeah. That's actually going to be a big problem. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, that actually, we might be better off waiting inside. Damn it. You know what? Yes. Let's wait inside. If we wait inside, we can surprise them at close range. We can get our warg to do some damage to them. And then we can shoot them at point blank while the warg nibbles on their ankles. That should be perfect. Come on. Chunks of spacecraft have impacted nearby. You can deconstruct them to other resources. Exit. We will be back for you in one minute. Attack animals. Attack. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. Right, we're going to punch you a little bit. Why is the ward not doing anything? Follow master while drafted. Okay, perfect. Two hits. Okay, you're dead in 13 hours. You're not going to last much longer. Whew. And we got a bolt action rifle out of that. Normal quality. Okay, damage wise, almost nothing. A bruise to the torso from the bolt action. And how are we looking? Serious pain. Oh, come on, it's a bruise. Don't be such a crybaby. Fine, fine. We'll, we'll get you to tend to yourself and clean the place up. But uh, maybe drag that corpse over to the, uh, the corpse toll location first. Finally, hydroponics. It only took us until day 20-something or other. Uh, next up, microelectronics, of course. Unless... No, I think microelectronics is our best bet. Solar is too finicky up here. Uh, that gets us this is the comm console, which gets us to actually true stability. Yet yeah, we don't get the autobong or the sleep accelerator. I am okay with that. All right. You're resting? You know what? We will let you rest just before you put together your first hydroponics. Well, we got up. Polar bears migration. Uh, as far as I'm aware, they're not herd animals. So we should be able to, like, kill them one at a time. How are you feeling, buddy? Yeah, you're pretty good. Uh, it's shooting experience, and it's meat. And it's polar bear fur. Hmm. I say we go for it. I mean, it's a bit risky, but... It should be possible? Alright. Suit up. We're going fighting. 
Worst case scenario, we can run back inside, close the door behind us, and repair the door frantically so that we hopefully don't die. Uh, what's the speed on these guys? 4.51. What's our speed? 4.6. Okay, so we can actually outrun them if it comes to it. How's uh, Hope doing? Hope's a little bit slower. Ooh. Maybe we should leave Hope behind. No, what? We'll stay close enough to our building so that if things go horribly wrong and they all turn Manhunter, we can run back inside. All right. Come here. Come here. And let's see what our bio is at. We're on... 946. Polar Bear Revenge. Okay, other polar bears nearby have also become enraged. All right. Um... Uh... Run! <laughs> Run for it! Um, we need to zone you back inside. Okay, now play the cue, cue the Benny Hill theme song. Go, 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 go. Uh, that one will bleed out in nine hours, so this wasn't all terrible. I mean, it's not great, but... Okay, you actually can stall right there. Fire at that one? I... I don't think that one's going to die. That one's bleeding out in five hours. One more round. Come on. That one's going to bleed out in 17 hours. Perfect. And it's time to get back inside the door. Uh, hold open. Nope, nope. Do not hold open. Close, 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 close. Right. Okay. Okay. We shall... Lock the door. Ooh. Okay, I want you to repair wooden door. Oh my god, it's at 76% already. Oh my god, no, 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 no. This was... No! Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That was only a tiny bit terrifying. Right, well, that one's going to be dead in four hours. Uh, the other one should be dead in 16. That means we should end up with two polar bears. All for just, you know, almost pooping our pants. Also, we left all our meals outside. It's fine. Okay, well, while you're here... Oh, no, we can't put down hydroponics, can we? Because we left all the steel outside like idiots. <sighs> it's fine. We can just do some research. Relax. Or we could potentially take a few pot shots like lunatics. Because, of course, we could. Come on. There you go. Exit. Take your shot. Take your shot. And then immediately back inside. No, no. Back inside. Back inside. <laughs> in your face okay that was incredibly dangerous and I shouldn't have done that okay repair wooden door oh oh alright I feel like I'm playing a little bit too dangerously here that could have just that could have been the death of us if I had nope no more. No no more playing with the polar bears. Playing with the polar bears is too dangerous. We're stopped. We're done. Well, one of them has calmed down and decided to wander off. Uh, nothing we can really do about that. The rest of them have decided to paint the snow. Eh, that was kind of our fault. Well, the math just changed. Those two polar bears are down. Well, three polar bears are down. There's only one left. I say... I say we go take a shot. Why not? Uh, we're suffering from a little bit of malnutrition. But I say... I say we can do it. Hmm. Let's actually see exactly where they go. Uh, actually, let's pop out and grab a meal, maybe. Lock the door open. Grab ourselves a snack. Eat faster. Eat faster. Mm. Yeah, we don't have time for this. Okay, we need to have... Attack animals. Attack! Ow. How did I mess that up? Okay. Beating it in five hours. How are we doing? Torso scratch. Left leg scratch. Right. Okay. Everyone back inside. We gotta patch everyone up again. Ah, damn it. And we can let the door close. And you can go back to sleep. Sorry about getting you involved in that again. How's your health looking, Hope? What? More polar bears? And no, no, 
No, we've already got enough polar bears. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, so we got that one bleeding out in six hours. That one's ours. There was another one somewhere. Yep. I'm going to need a, a polar bear corpse section for the, the four polar bears we currently have. I am not taking on any more. I'm going to grab a snack. We're going to tend up to hope. And uh, then we're going to build some hydroponics. Actually, I might get rid of one of the yaks. Uh, was it? Not that one. This one has milk. I wonder if we could feed it simple meals and then it would give us milk. Like, we'd make the simple meals out of, you know, people. And that would be allow us to turn people into milk. Gotta love their, uh, their ability to just disconnect from the world. They're just gonna pop out there and lie down in piles of blood right beside a dead polar bear. And there's a live one over there that, well, still got a couple hours left. Cargo pods! What do we got? Pemmican! Oh my god. Oh wow. Randy? Randy? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I just want to build one hydroponics and I can show you what the plan is. Okay.